Welcome back to High Tech Farmer. Today is a beautiful end of January day. We're actually melting a little bit of snow here in our snow piles, but we're not working outside today. Although it's nice, we're gonna be inside the shop. The goal of the day is to get our seed treater right there, this brown cylindrical drum looking thing set up, which means we got a ton of stuff here in the shop this winter between all the projects we had going on. So a lot of this stuff, since it's nice outside, is gonna get pulled outside. That way you can get these augers set up into position for us for treating. Unfortunately, the 560, I might have to end up either pushing out or leaving it there because the oil drained out. If you didn't see us repairing it, we lost a fair amount of oil when we did that project. But the goal is to get everything set up in here. That way we can start bringing beans in here, warming them up for when we wanna start treating. Got the 6150 and the snow pusher pulled out of the shop. Now we're gonna back out the ranger, make a little bit more room in here so we can start swinging the augers around into position. The first auger we're gonna get into position is this 35 foot long belt conveyor. Say it's a belt because it doesn't have that screw auger like a normal auger, so it's a conveyor. This one's only 30 foot long, so we're gonna set up the 35 foot long one up here along the back wall. It'll go from the bottom of the treater up to the top of the hopper where we refill mini bulk bags or seed totes. So we'll crank this up. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but I always think the augers look a lot bigger when they're raised up 20 feet in the air versus just down only 10 feet in the air. Before I get that one swung into place, there's a fair amount of dirt and gravel on the floor here from the snow pusher that got frozen the bucket and then melts off here in the shop. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. That way I don't track it all the way around the shop when I'm moving things around. Now that I made some room, got the augers half outside, half inside the shop, it's time to pull the seed treater itself away from the wall because the auger needs to slide in between the seed treater and the wall to auger up to the hopper. So we'll get that thing pushed away from the wall. Now time to try to line that auger up to the seed hopper. I'm not for sure if I need to move the bucket here. There might be enough room. Hopefully I don't have to since the 560 is out of commission and I can't move that other than just pushing it or pulling it back. So we'll see if there's enough room to put that auger up where it needs to go. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. And in the case of moving this auger, let me show you how lucky we got. We only had about two inches of room to spare between the auger and the bucket, which is a good thing since the 560 is completely out of oil and that's getting fixed in town with the PTO. Now we'll slide the treater back into its position. against that mat. I'm just gonna bring the forklift over here, lift the treater up, and set it down into position. It looks like I got a little too close to hit the auger. You guys didn't say nothing. Now I gotta back up. Since we got the big auger in place, I would like to get the 30 foot auger set up here that is the inlet conveyor that feeds the beans to the treater. 
And since the 560 is in the way, I'm going to see if we can push that to the back of the shop to make room for that other auger. Now that we have everything set up, more like everything just in the spot that it needs to be, so I can shut the big shop door, we're gonna pull in the Ranger and the 6150 so we can start hooking up things in the heat. Before I start hooking up all the electrical connections to the treater and getting the scales all set up for the treater so we can start treating in a couple weeks, I figured I'd give you guys a quick crash course on what treating is like for soybeans. The soybeans start out looking like this, no different than soybeans that we harvested on our farm last harvest, except for these soybeans have been cleaned and graded by a seed company where they then come to us where we will begin the seed treatment process by dumping them in our inlet conveyor. Once in the treater, that's where the magic happens and the beans go from looking something like this to this red color. And if you're interested in learning more about this magic that happens in the treating process, throw me a subscribe down below because we'll have more content on that in the future. The goal for today is to get this physical computer on the treater which runs the treater and all of the scales up and running. In addition to all of the plumbing that goes from the kegs over at the keg stands to the treater hooked up. The reason we have to set up the treater every year is because we take it down every season after we finish. Not only so we can have more room here in the shop when we're working on things, but also we like to power wash everything out to avoid having large clumps of seed treatment building up and getting into our seed. One trick I learned is when you want to remember which cord goes where is before you unhook it, take a colored zip tie. Here I have a red one, put a red one over here. That way when you come back to hook it up, you know you're not going to connect to the wrong one. Might save you a bunch of effort. That's one little trick I learned that I like to pass on. It's now time to hook up the last cable to the treater. And this is by far the funnest one because the cables are really, really tiny. And I got to insert them in the terminals inside the computer box. So it's definitely one I'm not looking forward to. Might take just as long as all the other connections. May take a half hour, might take five minutes. Just depends how lucky I get on adjusting the terminals to slide the wires in. I got all the cables inside the computer screen put where they needed to go. Thankfully, the first time we took it apart, we labeled each wire and each connection that it needed to go to. That way, every year, rather than having to search back on my phone for a screenshot, you just look up right there, and that's the notes that you need for where to hook up everything. Now we'll try to plug it in, and hopefully, everything works. I got both conveyors plugged in, and it's still showing on the display that it's not finding any of the information. Just gonna go and verify, check. I got that fuse box on. Oh, that one's still off. Kick this on. <clears throat> and then kick on the main control panel. And now let's see if it's gonna recognize anything on the display. It's still not recognizing any of the seed treating equipment in the display. So I'm gonna come in here in our supply room, check the fuse box, make sure the breaker's on to run the treater. Let's see here, do do do, seed treater on, huh. I restarted the computer, realized when looking through some of the notes on my phone that I forgot to hook up the communication cable from that control panel to our in-feed conveyor. Now I'm gonna try to run the in-feed conveyor, the seed wheel, which brings the seed 
down to the drum, start the drum, the dish cartridge conveyor, make sure everything's ready to rock. That way when we do start getting beans in here and it's time to treat, we know it should be smooth sailing. First things first, inlet conveyor. You can hear that, just kicked on. Now we'll kick the seed wheel on. As you can see, that little metering roll right there, that's going. We'll start the drum. That's kicking in. Three out of four. Our discharge conveyor, bringing it to that hopper, is now kicked on. We also had our display on for the seed polymer, which is a lubricant that we put on outside of the seed. That way it runs through a planter nicely. So if we look inside the drum, there's that little bit of seed polymer that runs out of this auger and flighting right here that gets on the beans as they rotate around in the drum. It's a good feeling that we got the seed treater hooked up and didn't have any major problems or concerns. There's still some things I wanna brush up on before we start actually treating at the first part of March. But if you look around in the shop, we still have some other pieces of equipment in here that we had from projects going on from harvest, now winter, one of which is this trailer I need to use to drive down to Nebraska to pick up something that we purchased. But I wanna get this trailer out of here so we can start bringing seed in here, which means we gotta go scoop a little snow in front of one of the other sheds. Unfortunately, as much as I wish we could use the tractor to scoop the snow, we gotta use the shovel because it's right in front of one of the shed doors. should be enough snow out of the way that way I can get that trailer in that door once we go down to pick up that new piece of equipment if you guys have any guesses on what new piece of equipment we're getting for the farm throw those down below in the comments otherwise that's gonna be it for today's video of high-tech farmer thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one